Hi everyone and welcome back. So now we are going to talk about subscription. So in the previous couple of videos, we are done with the query, we are done with the mutations. Now we understand how to run them, how to test them from the, the GraphQL client. Now next important part which we are going to talk about is the mutation. Uh, mutation and subscription, I mean you, mutation is all about changing the data and subscription is all about uh, listening to a particular type of mutation and acting upon it. Okay, so it's like an interesting. You might have already heard about event emitter in Node.js where you emit an event from one corner of your Node.js application and there is a, uh, a listener who is listening to the same event emitter and can act on to that particular action. So same thing we are going to talk about. I, I mean in the same context, this is called a subscription in the language of a GraphQL. So we are going to use uh, the PubSub, like how to set up this. The basic setup is we are going to get this PubSub from the GraphQL instance only. So you can compare, you can think about this as a Redis PubSub. So GraphQL server, this is how we can set up. And we have to pass this PubSub instance we have to create. Const PubSub equal to new PubSub and just pass this PubSub instance to your context. Now you can access this PubSub in the same way you are accessing this DB from the context, right? db.post, db.user. Similarly, PubSub you can directly access. Uh, it is a small PubSub. Okay, uh, keep it small only. And we can access that in the query and mutation. Mostly we need it in mutation because from mutation after a particular change happened like comment added, comment deleted, comment created. We want to publish a particular event and there is a listener somewhere which had subscribed to your mutation change and it will be able to listen to those changes. I mean it will be able to act on to that. Okay, so GraphQL Yoga out of the box is supporting that. You just need to create the instance of PubSub and provide it in the context so that your uh, mutations and query can access it. So mostly we are going to do it with the mutations. Let, let's say uh, I am adding a comment. Let's say here in the bottom, we are adding a comment or updating a comment. And there I wanted to publish a particular subscription, publish a particular event, right? So how we do it? Whenever we are doing a delete, update and create mutations, there we always have a chance, okay, the data state had changed and now we wanted to notify something. So these subscription are special kind of types which uh, which are nothing but a watching about the change of the state of your data, right? The syntax is very much similar to the queries and mutation. Just we are just going to add a subscription.js and in the index.js we are going to pass subscription. Same as the mutations and all we will pass uh, the subscription here okay and, and same way like we have the query we have the mutation similarly there is another file which we are going to pass as a subscription and we can import subscription from subscription this is the basic setup the so subscription we are going to write and subscription will listen to a particular changes happening onto the data okay so what we will do is uh, this, I mean, GraphQL document already provide how the subscription works is we'll go to our mutation, let's say, and uh, we want to do, we want to listen to a particular change. So what we can do is we can access this PubSub, which we are passing to the mutations and queries. Let's say I want to do it with a simple update comment. I want to notify. So this is the update comment from the context I can access PubSub. Okay, and now I have this. So I can do is pubsub.publish. Simple pubsub.publish. And here I will just put, uh, let's say, dummy event name, uh, comment updated. You can also pass the comment ID. And here is the payload. In the payload, you will be saying, okay, this is about comment. And here I'm doing. This is the mutation which I'm talking about. This is 
updated and data about the comment which I am updating that's it so you are passing this as a context and this is the publish pubsub.publish right so you we, we have done uh, the one part of it like publishing it by accessing the pubsub from the context now we need to write a subscriber who is going to listen to these kind of events right so we can create subscription subscription.js it's again going to be the the same kind of logic like we write in the query and the resolver what we will do is const subscription and this is an object and this is going to handle the comment level subscription and it is it is going to have subscribe method inside subscribe method this is uh, i'm inside a comment we will have the same methods like we have inside the the resolvers and query this is the subscription for the comment we will also have another kind of uh, events coming from the post okay we are going to handle it in the subscribe and we have the same set of argument here in the subscription same we have in the query and mutation here we can get some data this is the context so we are going to access db and pubsub and the last argument is the info okay just a simple boilerplate now we can also publish the events something from the mutation from the comments let's say comments and the posts let's say what i want to do is uh, i have added uh, the post i have added updated a comment created a comment or I have published a post right so create post I mean there are many places from there we can actually uh, publish this because now pubsub is available everywhere and we can do is pubsub.publish and we can say uh, the blog post is created and somebody who is watching for all these kind of states updates can receive those changes so pubsub.publish mutation is created this is the post similarly from many different places you can publish this so i have delete post updated post here also i have a pubsub so if you are deleting a post or updating a post i can do the same thing here it is updated we already have the post data here it is the create comment delete comment update comment similarly we can actually publish these kind of uh, events and here is our subscription who is listening to the change happening in the comment and the post so the subscribe methods is something which is handling it and inside subscribe what we are doing here is if we go to subscribe method here we have the parent and post id which we are sending and in the subscribe a method we can we can actually get which particular post id we are talking about right so here we already have access to the db simply we can just do db dot posts dot find okay i have all the post which particular post id you are talking about post dot id equal equal to the post id which i got from this mutation okay i got the post and i will just simply return this using pubsub dot async iterator async iterator and you can say okay updated deleted or commented right so this is the information you are sending updated uh, post id so this is how your subscription will handle the events coming from the mutation same kind of logic you will be doing for the comments okay so this is all about the subscription we will see this real in the example how it really works when the the blog post is updated deleted and we are we are writing the subscription also which we will just import here the subscription and then let's see how this works with the graphql console uh, in the next video
so let's talk about uh, the next part of subscription here we, we have written the basic subscription okay here we have the mutation let's say when you are deleting the post here you are sending the mutation which is a mutation type created updated deleted and this is your payload okay and you are doing a two different kind of subscription subscription on the post and subscription on the comment okay so sub subscription are also kind of similar we have to define the type definition same as the query and mutation so we will go to index dot uh, sorry schema dot graphql and here i have defined the subscriptions comment and post post is just going to return as the payload whatever the updates are happening and the comment is just going to take the post id okay you have commented on this particular post deleted a comment on this post updated a comment on this post so this is the the two different types we have like mutation is a created updated deleted this is having the post payload this is having the comment payload right so this is the new type definitions we have added for uh, updating the post deleting the post we wanted to publish a uh, subscript publish an event and there is a subscriber which is listening to this here we have subscribers on to the comment and on to the post it is doing nothing but it is just publishing the the whole payload and it is just acting on it like uh, it is checking the post id really exist before um, uh, acting on it because let's say you have added a updated or a deleted a comment and you are passing uh, the post id then we have to make sure the post id exists or not then just do a sync uh, iterator so that uh, the subscriber should be able to listen to those set of events okay so how do we test it first of all we will just update the schema graphql we have two different kind of subscriptions so whenever you we go to the documentation here we should be able to see this is the query okay this is not that user friendly i will say so here we have two subscriptions right comment and the post and if i open the documents then you can see the comments and post this should be enough now what what these are about so if you look at the the mutation what we are doing is whenever you are adding a comment when you are deleting or whenever you are updating a post or deleting a post or creating a post we are actually publishing one event if you are like updating a post we are doing this thing like uh, pubsub.publish of type post and this is the whole payload we are sending right same with the comment comment the payload is like this pubsub.publish the comment and the post payload right now what we are doing here is friends we are going to simulate this in the testing environment let's say here we have this okay here we have mutation so there are two things we have create and we have update mutation so i will try first with the create post where you don't need id you just need to pass the data okay inside data there are a lot of things title body right this is of type string and then there is a published another flag which is of type true and then there is author i think which is of type id i'm putting one this is like i'm creating a post so i will hide this for now okay i have created a post so create a post with some real data test and test okay you can see this post is created right now i am updating it and what how you need to test the subscription whenever there is a create is happening what you need to do you go to go here and open the another tab and put your subscription here and start listening to those, those subscription click on to this arrow it means it is listening all your subscription okay there is a listening event is happening right now what i will do is i will update this particular post this is the id which we just have created so i will just pass this id and then new data and i will submit this we got the new data 
and we are listening to all those set of events so we got the new updates you can see the same id ending with 636 and here also you can see the id ending with 636 the last updates this is the create and this is the update so here we are listening to all those subscription and this is just a little tricky how to test your subscription once you develop them so we are sending two things in the post payload the mutation type created updated deleted and in, in the data we are just sending the payload which is id okay similarly when you update comment delete comment for a particular post there is another subscription you need to start listening to that subscription in another tab and go to your first tab do the mutation like adding a comment and you will start listening all those events here okay so this is this is all about how to write how to set up and how to test the subscriptions i mean this example is available i can also i have also published one sample example which is lit very small and very simple like update user create user uh, without these comments and posts and all okay uh, that's it guys about subscription so we have covered the basic fundamentals like query mutation subscription with the yoga graphql and we have covered it with the mock database now we can go uh, one step ahead like uh, we will restructure our modules we will give a modular structure we will split this uh, schema also for uh, all different entities like we have a post we have comment we have user every folder it can be more modular every folder can represents a particular entity like user it has its user mongodb model and all the queries and mutation you will put there similarly the comment similarly the post we will try to restructure it so it is more productionized pro productionizable application uh, let's see that in the next video so this is all about the basic fundamentals we have covered